just 4.2 light years away, orbiting a faint red sun, lies a world that has fascinated astronomers for decades. A rocky planet, almost the size of Earth, locked in eternal light and endless darkness, Proxima Centauri b. It could be the closest place in the universe where life might exist, or the deadliest trap we've ever discovered. Its red star flares without warning. Its skies offer no protection. Its silence might not mean it's empty. So what would happen if we landed there? Would we burn, freeze, or find something we're not ready for? Before we step onto this alien world, Let's explore the clues it hides. Why does one side burn while the other freezes? Could a single solar flare erase all hope of survival? What do we know about its atmosphere? Or the terrifying lack of one? Could water exist on Proxima B? And if it does, could something already be alive there? And finally, if life ever found a way on this planet, are we sure we'd be the first to arrive? Join us as we journey into the twilight edge of Earth's closest alien world. To understand Proxima B, we first have to understand the system it belongs to. Because this isn't just any star, it's part of a rare triple star system called Alpha Centauri. Two of the stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, orbit each other closely, locked in a binary dance that takes 80 years. But Proxima Centauri, the smallest of the three, drifts alone on the outskirts, dim, distant, and deadly. It's a red dwarf just one-eighth the mass of our sun, but far more violent. Its solar flares can strip atmospheres and sterilize entire surfaces, and orbiting just seven million kilometers away is Proxima Centauri b, a rocky planet discovered in 2016 by a campaign called Pale Red Dot, just over 1.2 times the mass of Earth, and orbiting right inside something called the habitable zone. But what is the habitable zone? It's the region around a star where conditions might allow liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Not too hot, not too cold, just the right distance for water to remain in liquid form. The essential ingredient for life as we know it. But here's the problem. Being in the habitable zone, doesn't mean a planet is actually habitable, especially when its star is a red dwarf prone to sudden deadly flares. Proxima Centauri b is dangerously close to its star, so close it completes a full orbit in just 11.2 Earth days. So close that one side of the planet always faces the star. No sunrise, no sunset, just eternal daylight on one side, and endless night on the other. So what happens on a planet that never turns? How hot does one side get? And how cold the other? What forces are unleashed? Where fire meets ice? In the next chapter, we journey into a world split in two. Imagine a world where time has stopped, where the sun never moves, and shadows never change. That's Proxima Centauri b, because this planet is likely tidally locked. One side always faces its star, the other remains in permanent darkness. There is no sunrise, no sunset, just a frozen dance of extremes. On the day side, temperatures could soar above 100 degrees Celsius. The heat is relentless. On the night side, it's even worse. Temperatures may drop below minus 100 degrees. A world so cold 
that even carbon dioxide might freeze. And between these two extremes lies a razor-thin line, a twilight zone, where light meets dark, where temperatures might just balance. Astronomers call it the Terminator Zone. It may be the only place where survival is remotely possible. But even here, the planet does not rest. Hot air from the day side, cold air from the night, they crash together, creating violent winds that howl across the land. The surface cracks, the dust rises, and yet, could this fragile sliver hold liquid water? Could something live here? In the next chapter, we descend into this twilight world to find out whether life could ever begin. If there's any place on Proxima Centauri B where life might cling to survival, it's here, along a narrow twilight strip where eternal daylight meets endless night. Astronomers call it the Terminator Zone. On Earth, the Terminator moves with the rotation of the planet. But on Proxima B, it stays still, frozen, a razor's edge between fire and ice. On one side, the sun never sets, the heat never fades. On the other, absolute cold, a sky full of stars. But here, in the middle, temperatures might just balance. Warm enough to melt ice, cold enough to hold vapor. And just maybe, liquid water could exist. Not in oceans, not in lakes, but in thin films, shallow puddles, or brine pools, rich in salt, unstable, but not impossible. And where there's water, could there be life? Could extremophiles, like those found in Earth's most hostile places, survive here? In the next chapter, we follow the chemistry and explore what it would take for life to begin on Proxima Centauri B. Water is the key to life. And while Proxima Centauri B may not have oceans, even a few drop could change everything. On Earth, life thrives in the most hostile places. Boiling acid pools, frozen deserts, deep ocean vents. These extremophiles survive heat, radiation, even vacuum. So if water exists, even for a moment, could life already be there? Some scientists believe microbial life could cling to cracks in the Terminator Zone, sheltered from solar flares, hidden beneath dust and rock. Others wonder if subsurface ocean lie deep below. And then, there are the things we can't explain. In 2019, a narrowband radio signal from Proxima Centauri. No clear origin. It was likely interference, but for a brief moment, we asked, was it a message or a mistake of our own imagination? Could life have once begun and ended on Proxima B? Could we be the second visitors? In the final chapter, we ask what this planet truly tells us about our own and why, before we leave Earth behind, we might want to learn how to protect it first. Proxima Centauri B is close, just 4.2 light years away. And yet, it might as well be a million, a planet caught between fire and ice where time never moves and danger never rests. We came searching for a second Earth. What we found was a mirror, a reflection, not of hope, but of how rare and fragile our home truly is. Earth spins gently. Earth breathes. Earth shelters life. Not in the shadows, but in the open, with clouds that move, winds that sing, oceans that remember. We dream of reaching the stars, but maybe 
Our greatest mission is to understand the one world that has never turned us away, the only world that gives us life, without asking anything in return. Before we search the stars, let's protect the one planet that already chose us, Earth.